Welcome back to Rolls and Tire. I'm back with a milkshake this time. Pretty good. In and out. If you guys haven't tried In and Out, check it out. It's pretty good. Um, sorry, I've been gone for so long, you guys. Uh, I've been doing a lot of schoolwork, a lot of projects, and it's my senior year, so I've been trying to step up my game, make sure my grades are good, so I can go to SF State and yeah, just pursue business and all that. So, without further ado, today I do have a pickup for you guys. Two pickups. Um, this is a plunder pickup and a hat pickup. As you can already saw, I'm wearing the hat, but I'll get into closer detail on that. Uh, yeah, let's get started to it. All right, here's the hat right here. It is a Crook of Hearts hat, curved brim hat, snapback, whatever you want to call it. Let me get a more close-up shot. Let me silent my phone. It says, as you can see right there, it says Soho, Fairfax, Wicker Park of Paris in the front. C-O-X-O -O on the side. And then it has a Crook of Hearts branding right there on the inside with their little cardboard box to, keep, to make sure that the frame is all nice. And dandy, and it does have a snap right there. You can see that. Boom! Bow. And as you can tell, it fits really nice on the head. It really, um, this is probably one of the greatest curb rim hats I've seen so far. I know that um, other curb rim hats out there, such as I am, whatever that I am brand was with the little save and all the. Big printed F U K K. Uh, what was called? Is that I am something brand? But yeah, this one's pretty cool. Um, it's simple, simplistic. It looks like just a black hat from far away, but when you come up close, it's like, oh snap! Why does it have words on it? And then you basically tell them that these are like super fashionable cities and all that stuff. Yeah, shout out to Jacob Star. He got me on this, so I picked one up. Greatest thirty-six dollars I spent on my life with shipping. So yeah, 36 bucks, you guys can't get wrong, can't get, ah, man, I'm ready back in the morning study. You guys can't go wrong with that, so let's get into the plunder pickups, alright? Okay, the first article of clothing I got for you guys is this duck camo sort of jacket sort of thing. It's made by Belfield, and I did get it from plunder. Um, it was roughly around, let's say, I think 30, if I do recall correctly, it was like, 30 bucks I think and there was a sale going on so if you got like over 50 they'll cut it off half price so I got it for like 25 ship so yeah this is the Belfield Samoa camo jacket and it has like the ribbings right here which oh, oh. okay got it they have the ribbing right here which I personally am not a fan of so I might try to do something to make it into a bomber I don't know yet, but I like how they included the, the inside to be camo as well, so I could like just wear it like this, like put a hoodie underneath this, so it'll look pretty cool. I already tried it with my John Elliott hoodie, and it was pretty sick. So yeah, the Belfield Samoa jacket, nothing really crazy on the inside, maybe like this super orange bottom half, but yeah, everything else is just duck camo. Um, I also didn't like how... The cuffs on these, they're not really like, like, you know those like tight cuffs, so they, they sort of hang loose. But what I like to do is I like to like, make the cuff of my jacket pop out, so it gives it more of a, gives it more of a layered look, which I think is pretty cool. So what I usually do is I just go like this, to make it just a little bit shorter on me. So yeah, this is the Samoa jacket, two front pockets right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, two front pockets right here, and right here. Sorry, I'm using my 50 millimeters, so I can't really see that well. But yeah, this is a Samoa jacket. Let's get on to the next piece. So the next piece I had was a black scale shirt, which honestly, I don't even want to buy any more black scale shirts other than they're cut and sew because their black scale shirts are really, I feel like they're poor quality for what they're worth. Um, I mean, I did get this for like 10 bucks. <laughs> so I just got this black scale. This is the Mia Morty and it, this took a while to ship. These both shipped separately. Um, it, didn't, it didn't really like clearly state that this was a pre-order item, so I guess I just I just bought it because it was on the side already. And yeah, it came at least or uh, two to three weeks farther from when I got the Samoa jacket, which was it was all right. It wasn't that bad. I mean, I didn't really care about this. It was only ten bucks, so I didn't really give, I didn't really mind. But just I don't know. Plunder took a while to send me my stuff, so yeah. If you're shopping. Um, I really suggest Carmeloop, not Plunder. Plunder is like, 
it's like that the one that lags all the time like if you know what I mean they they run on Filipino time if you're a Filipino you know what I mean Filipino time so yeah uh, the Mia Morty black scale nothing really on it size medium on this I also got a size medium on that on this mo jacket I am five foot five 150 pounds if you guys want to base it on measurements and yeah size medium this I honestly think this will shrink in the wash first wash so I could have gotten large but it's whatever it's it could be like my night shirt or sleeping out or whatever I don't know yeah that's all I got for you today um I'm gonna try this on and I'll tell you how it fits and all that stuff yeah all right I'm gonna stand on this all right sorry I'm standing on my okay I got some old jacket right here with the black scale shirt right there the black scale I mean the black scale honestly it has it's really poor quality it's like super thin and it's like it's gonna shrink on me for sure so I might just give this to my girlfriend but yeah here's a Samoa jacket on I put the collar up just cuz I like it better like that but if it's down it'll look like this there you go spin for you guys I look so stupid right now sorry I don't know how to pull my camera down because I'm putting it on my speaker so but yeah, that's it. Samoa jacket, pretty cool. The only thing I would I have a gripe about this too is that the pockets don't really close, so it's sort of awkward putting it right here, but it'll work. You know what I mean? Like this is just a like an outer layer of what I wanna put inside, such as my hoodie. But yeah, it's not really that stretchable. It's like all made out of cotton, so don't expect a lot of stretch on this. If you want, you can order half size up uh, size up. I would Probably would have preferred a size large just because it's super like tied around me when I wear a hoodie under it, but it works. It's cool. I like it. And then here is the black scale shirt. As you can tell, it fits pretty good. Um, I have a sort of like a muscular build, so I don't know. It just fits. If it's okay, I would probably use this in the gym to be completely honest with you because I really don't like the quality of this and it's a waste of money to just buy it like this so invest in the cut and sew black seal not their screen prints because it's not too good or at least for plunder it's not too good so yeah uh, I would just like to thank you guys so much for sticking with me I recently just hit 400 subscribers which is crazy because I got 300 in my last video now I'm at 400 and I haven't posted a video in a month so it's cool how you guys like my videos and just keep subscribing to me uh, hit the thumbs up if you guys like it, thumbs down if you guys don't and yeah if you guys like this content let me know in the comment section below I got major heat for you next week that I picked up for a steal of a price um, I'll give you guys a hint I don't know if you can see that right there but it's a Jordan box size 9 can you guys tell me what it is comment on the section Comment on the comment section below see to like guess what it is and if you guys guess correctly then I don't know I'll shout you out. <laughs> I'll shout you out in my next video. But yeah, uh, try to guess what the shoe is. It's Jordan of course. And yeah, see your knowledge of Jordans. So I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.